Hi, my name is Keith Shank. I'm with Ericsson, and I am the director of the Advanced Technology Lab. So at Ericsson, we're looking at what 5G might be in the future. 5G has not been defined yet. 5G starts definition around 2018. We see a product starting to come out around 2021. But we have to start looking at what we're showing. So I'm pleased to be able to show you the first 5G demonstration system in North America for Ericsson. What we're using right now is we're using a 200 megahertz wide channel at 13 gigahertz spectrum. I'm showing off 5.7 gig downlink speed. It's a TDD channel. So I'm showing off 5.7 gig downlink speed on this. It, by the end of the summer, we're going to have a double that. We're going to have almost 10 gig of downlink speed because we're going to go to 400 megahertz. This is a basic OFDM channel. We're showing off MIMO 4x4 on, on the radio system. My radio base station is over in that direction, and this is my mobile. This might look like a really big mobile, but I want you to think back. My first HSPA mobile was a bus, an entire bus. My first LTE mobile were two nine-foot tall racks. It's coming down, and I can actually drive this around. So this is my first mobile unit that I'm able to show off. One of the things, that you've got to look at what 5G is going to bring. More bandwidth, number one, is the important part, of course. Lower latency. The network design is going to, topology is going to change dramatically. The latency is going to drop from the 100 millisecond range to the sub 10 millisecond range. That's the idea. So this is a perfect concept for near real time and real time operations. What I'm also going to get is, like I said, the bandwidth, the extreme high power, but also the connectivity. 5G is not just for me to be able to download my videos faster, but it is for machine to machine and the network society. And that's what we're looking toward, what has to be built. This technology is going to be the tens of thousands of things connectable per network node instead of the thousands which we have in 4G today. That's what we have. My ba main base station hanging out here is basically, uh, this is a prototype base station that is comprised of four radios built into it to get the 100 megahertz wide per radio. I'm using two today to give me 200 megahertz. And so I have my first indoor cell as well as my outdoor cell outside. Our, our network outside will be up in the summer, so we'll have that up and running for you to be able to come by and us drive this cart around uh, the driveway to be able to show the bandwidth. Today's episode is brought to you by Telecom Careers, the number one global telecom and wireless job board telecomcareers.net.